Hello everyone, today is Friday, January 31st at 6.18 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. We have another live trading video from Trader Jim. A couple of videos ago, maybe two, I stated that I'm going to go out on a limb and suggest that the market will come down and fill this, this gap here. This was uh, the gap from uh, Monday to Tuesday. This is the daily session chart which your data series would look like this here. And uh, so this gap here, I didn't expect it to happen today, but if we look at today's price action, pretty sharp sell-off, and that uh, goes to show how news affects the market. This was because of the uh, virus outbreak in China. Uh, there was uh, some announcement about the disease control center uh, made an announcement, and this gap came down and essentially got filled uh, within a few ticks. So I'm going to say this was the filling of the gap. And of course, uh, I predicted that. I didn't expect it to happen today, but certainly it did. And it's where the market drove to. Now, interestingly enough, here's a chart with the Fib grid. And I took off the daily Fib grid. Only the weekly Fib grid is on here. And it's interesting to note the range of the NASDAQ was 1,100 ticks here and then uh, yesterday it was 980 ticks, and that's like twice the daily range, or uh, yeah, twice the daily range. This is the daily range grid here. The market completed this move here by coming back to the weekly uh, open, the open of the week, so the zero Fibonacci uh, retracement, and it went as high as approximately the the 150 percent weekly Fibonacci extension and kind of stalled here at the 138 kind of provided resistance so we might say it just went to the 138 with a little bit of overshoot but it's interesting to note how the uh, weekly fib grid from the open of the week how the market stalled at the various uh, weekly Fibonacci extensions this is 23 this is 50 and then uh, 76 up here, 88, and then the 100 percent Fibonacci extension, which is based on the average weekly range looking back 50 sessions. And that information is down here on the lower right, and this tells you the percentage of days that it reached the various uh, weekly extensions. So here Interestingly, it stopped, and then it was this uh, push through here where it went further and then came all the way back down to where it started. So that would essentially create a doji bar for the week. Okay, I did something that I've never done before, and uh, I'm watching less charts because I'm not tracking them every day, but I let the computer run from Monday through Friday, and this is the result of the charts that I'm following. Uh, most everything was positive this week. Uh, very respectfully so, uh, all the charts that I follow, and so uh, pretty good. Most of these are trading one contract. There might be a couple that are trading two contracts, but uh, quite a week for the auto trader just trading our templates 100% automated with no discretion at all. Okay, as some of you might know, Jim is moving on to some real estate investments and may not be trading as much. So we'll be happy to uh, get a video uh, when, when he's able to, but there will be less live videos going forward. Uh, I may try to do some live trading myself, or I may go over some of Jin's charts and uh, break down uh, what happened and try to uh, provide some education on how to best use the auto trader. Let's have a look at today's live video. All right, still January 30th, uh, Globex, there was a huge rally at the end of the session. Globex opened up, uh, gave me a nice retracement. Of course, I would not take shorts, even though there were plenty of uh, very nice opportunities uh, for shorts, but um, my methodology does not allow me to take shorts under these conditions. So I uh, waited for a retracement. Uh, other trader recognized a long pattern, a click longs, and a long trade is taken expecting a move either tonight or tomorrow 
into um, 9257. If you've been following the videos over the past few weeks, you should uh, recognize the number 9257. This was the uh, price completion from, I believe, 9180. So here we are. And um, I think the long is in a good location. I like where my stop is. Um, let's see how it turns out. All right, here is target one. Uh, trying to think if I should place my stop at break even. I'll just let it go. They, they should be hitting the full target on this one. Full target is at $500. They really should not have an issue. It's just a matter of how long it will take. This is Globex. Here we go. Full target is hit. I don't think they're done with the upside, but uh, I think I'm going <laughs> to get to bed. This was a nice uh, Globex uh, trade. Really just uh, they gave me a nice retracement, which I kind of did not expect, but I took it. It was a nice gift. Uh, I think we're going to 92.57. I can't imagine them doing all this and not reaching 92.57. January 31st, um, a bit before 7 a.m. Uh, once again, Super Enco 6, uh, gotta stick with this for now because of the very fast price action. Uh, still on longs and will continue to stay on longs unless, well, they would need to be breaking 91.35. If they start breaking 91.35, then as difficult as it might be i might have to switch to shorts but really if they break 91.35 wow uh, 9060 will happen quickly i mean that's how uh you know i, I, I can see it happening right now because you know they went as high as 92.49 looks like now is 92.49 a completion of 92.57 Mm, you know, it's one of those situations where it's it's tricky. It's ordinarily I would say no, no. Eight, eight points away in the bull market, they should be touching ninety two fifty seven. Eight points away is just too much, but it's definitely tough, and that's what I'm not sure. Um, but I'm still staying on longs above ninety one thirty five on longs. Um, that that's it, and just just um, hope it will work. Also, just want to uh, mention on uh, Monday, my schedule will be extremely different. Uh, Monday is the closing uh, date for the uh, office building that I am purchasing. Uh, 21 unit office building. Uh, you know, going to try uh, real estate. Trading is great. Don't get me wrong. You can make excellent money. Uh, trading but uh, it is uh, very stressful number one and number two you know if I'm not working if I'm not trading I'm, I'm not making any money if volatility drops it's hard to make money you know if so many things can happen if if my internet connection goes out and then, then I can't make money so you know I think the name of the game is passive income and that's what I'm looking for in commercial real estate investment real estate have someone who's helping me I think it's very important in anything you do to have a mentor when I started trading I had a mentor um, now I have a mentor when I was a teacher first starting out as a young guy I had a mentor so uh, you know I'm gonna gonna try real estate and it's gonna be um, extremely uh, my schedule is gonna be I can't even imagine exactly what my schedule is gonna be like I imagine I would not be able to send as many videos I imagine it would be a lot of, of recaps as opposed to actual uh, recordings. My idea for now is to trade like I'm doing now, the Globex, so um, late in the evening or early in the morning. Possibly I'll be waking up, you know, London Open and trading the DAX. I mean, I begin to look at the DAX now. 
to see if I can identify any kind of uh, price patterns, um, um, zones that I can trade off of. Uh, but yeah, you know, I could be trading the DAX at 3 o'clock in the morning, uh, my time, uh, whatever I have to do. So uh, when I am trading, I hope to record it. Uh, on some days, I imagine I will be leaving either the 987 Hakinashi or and or the open range filter uh, going if if price is where I need it to be by the time I leave because it's always tricky when I'm not home, obviously, because things can happen very quickly, in which case then those um, templates might not be appropriate. So I'm not sure what it's going to look like. I, I will do my best. But yeah, just letting you know, beginning next week, things will change. All right, here is first target. Uh, should I put stop at break even? I, I just think um, still only seven o'clock. Not bad for four minutes. So um, yeah, you know what? I'm gonna put the stop at break even. No reason to risk anything here. Like I said, uh, still bullish over 91.35. Still expecting them to get to 92.57-ish. Here we go, here we go, first target. Very cool, all right. Uh, still very early, uh, gonna keep on going. Okay, so here is the long. Um, I don't think the move is over by a long shot. Like I said, uh, 92.57, they came, they kind of tested that 91.70 to 91.50 area and now should just be going higher. Now, of course, yes, they can still retest it, no question. I, I guess that's why we use uh, stop losses, right? Uh, looks like they're gonna stop me out. Yep, uh, took me out, uh, gonna give it one more try. Here is the long, let's see if they can uh, turn around and just go higher, really surprised at this price action. Nope. Well, max stop hit on this template, uh, on this account, the uh, daily stop is hit. So <clears throat> I'll be done with this account, uh, but I am not done overall. Uh, this hurts, uh, but this is just a trade. Put it behind me and keep going. So uh, trying another short, another short, trying another long, um, almost in the same location. Actually, I think slightly higher. Just needed to give the market a chance to confirm that um, they're done with that 70 to 50 area. Yep, 
If you want to share in the comments how you guys uh, deal with um, losing trades, uh, I am getting better at it. Um, I'm really, ideally, the thing to do is to completely put it out of your mind. It was just another trade and um, look for something else. Of course, if you're trading your own money, I'm, I'm trading funded accounts, so it's not, well, see, I shouldn't say that. It's not exactly my money, but it is my money because um, whatever money I made up to this point, if I take a loss, that amount will come out of the money that I made. Remember, with a funded account, you know, you get 80% of, um, of your profits, but you take 100% of your losses. So, you know, $500 of profit, it's really $400 for you. But if you take a $500 loss, then it's a full 500 less. So, um, in that sense, a funded account is trickier than your own account. In your own account, if you have a $500 profit and a $500 loss, well, you know, minus commissions and slippage, you'll be pretty much even. Um, but here it's a different ballgame. I just know I would not be able to be as objective with my trading if I traded my own account. Oh, and here it is. So, hit first target. Looks like it hit the first target with some positive slip, which that's a bit unusual, very nice. Um, getting close to bid session open. As usual, I hope to be out before bid session open. $500 target here, and we would need to be closer to that uh, 9205 to hit that. Uh, since we are close to the pit session open, I am going to put my stop at break even. Okay, so they uh, took me out at uh, break even on the second half, which is okay. We are very close to the pit session open. And I actually prefer to be flat on a Super Renko 6 at this point. So I'm uh, going to get ready for the open. Here we go. Okay, so I am on longs. Technically, anything above 91.35 to 91.38 is still bullish to me. But uh, well, so far they're selling off. And um, I have the arbitrator on longs. This is the daily open range filter. And the other trader will keep me out of short, I'm sorry, long trades. Obviously, I would be missing out on the short side, and that's okay with me. Even though there was this big sell-off, you know. I just refuse to believe that 92.49 is close enough to 92.57. I mean, th that's a constant challenge for me. When, when they come close to a number... Do they satisfy that number? If the answer is yes, then it's absolutely okay to take shorts for me. Uh, but if the answer is no, then they still should get there, in which case I I have to think long. But they start breaking 91, 35 to 38 zone. And yeah, then I'm definitely bearish. So at some point, I would discontinue the um, open range filter, this chart, uh, if they just go too low. And 
and boy, they are selling hard. So auto trader once again keeps me out of a uh, losing trade here. And you know, no question. I mean, if you've been watching over the past few days, I have been having trouble uh, reading the price. And and that is not anything necessarily concerning because remember, like I said before, even if you have a methodology that's right 75% of the time, uh, this still means 25% of the time you would be wrong. And the way probability works, it's not always one out of four. You can still have three and four and five and six, you know, uh, losing trades in a row, or in my case, I guess, um, wrong predictions or, or wrong understanding. Um, but wow, they, they're selling them, they're selling them. And at this point, I am discontinuing um, this chart. So uh, based on the short side, couldn't take shorts, based on the short side. So, so does it, maybe it does mean that that 49 satisfied the 57, in which case, It'll be concerning. So here's this. Let's see if they can convey it to double bottom. If they can, I would be using the Super Enco, uh 6. All right. So I waited to see what was going to happen with that 91, 35 to 38 zone. They sure broke down below it. Now the question is, is it just a spike? So I am on shorts now uh, because we are below 91, 35. Uh, but if they start breaking above it, I'm going to just discontinue this and wait. A bit apprehensive now about taking longs. I cannot take longs below the 9135 zone now. Um, shorts are okay. And here is a short. Very fast price action. Um, so if indeed they're gonna fail here, they could get as deep as 9060 even believe it or not, 8970. So um, it's it's very interesting that they went as high as 9249. Just kept wondering if that 9249 satisfied the 9257. Ordinarily, the answer is no. But definitely this sell-off tells me that either they were too weak, just come within eight points and sell off, in which case it's very bearish. Very bearish. I mean, not, I mean talking about uh, 300 points, lower kind of bearish. So, yeah, I mean, you know, I'm trying to teach myself not to be stubborn, not to be married to one side of the market. If price breaks certain areas, I have to start thinking the other way. So if I was thinking longs above 91.35, I have to be thinking shorts below it. They broke below it, they don't seem to be able to get back above it. My stop is in a good place because if they're above 91.35, I don't want to be in the short anyway. Because trading back above 91.35 very quickly brings about 91.65, 91.90. And then possibly another attempt at 92.57, but here they come fast. Boom, here we go. That's more like it. Come on, come on, here we go, here we go. Here we, come on. Done, right, there we go, yes. Nice, okay, so, whew. Make up for the, made up for that loss. And, wow, this is, this is completely unexpected for me. I congratulate those of you who were thinking short and maybe took a short with a daily open range. Just an amazing trade. I missed out on that. Did not take the short. Um, here it is. So, yeah, I'm looking for more. I'm looking for a nice bounce. I possibly, now from this point on, I will continue to short anything below 91.35. Because they, they were, they're not going to end here. If they cannot recover now, if they cannot make this right, this is not the law of the day. No way. Let me load up another account. So here's a bounce uh, back up to that 35 area, at least attempt, and they're just failing. Yep. 
That's what it is. They tried to go back up, just waited for a confirmation from the other trader that they can't. And here's the short. And if they cannot get above, I'm not saying they cannot. I'm saying if they cannot, they'll be going much lower. Here they come. Boom. Of the shorts for now because uh, if they take me out I just wait for them to try and see if they um, can break the 9135 upside there'll be plenty of opportunities to take shorts if they can't so I'm not worried about that Come on, come on. Take me out, come on, take me out. Ah. Here it is, come on. The computer's slowing down again. Look at that. Ah, here we go. Got me. Wow, look at that positive slippage. That's why it hesitated. $40 positive slippage. Even more. This is after commissions. Nice price action. All right. All right, everyone. Well, I am done here. Thank you, everyone. It's been an intense day. Uh, gonna relax here now. Thank you and hopefully uh, see you Monday.